You've just started selling your products on Amazon in the US through their FBA program. You've set up your account, added your product descriptions, and managed your first order successfully. As your sales grow, you start thinking about whether you should form an LLC to make your business more official. You can sell on Amazon without an LLC, but there are reasons you might want to consider getting one, especially for legal protection. Even if you're just a small seller right now, it's smart to think about the future. An LLC can help protect your personal assets in case something like that happens. So while it's not required to sell on Amazon, having an LLC could give you some extra peace of mind as your business grows. By the way, if you would like to get help in starting your own LLC, then make sure to sign up with Northwest Registered Agent by clicking my affiliate link down in the description of this video. They're professionals and they'll be able to help you out with any legal questions you have. Plus, clicking on my link doesn't cost you anything extra and it helps me support the channel. And with that in mind, let's get started. Step one is picking a state. This is the very first big decision you'll ever make. Now, you might be wondering why that matters. Well, different states have different rules and fees for forming an LLC. Choosing the right state to form your LLC is very important for various reasons. Some states like Delaware and Nevada are popular choices for LLC formation due to their business-friendly laws and tax advantages. However, it's essential to consider factors such as your location, business goals, and specific state requirements. For Amazon FBA businesses, selecting a state with Amazon's fulfillment centers can be advantageous as it may streamline logistics and sales tax obligations. Additionally, research the state's annual fees, reporting requirements, and ongoing compliance obligations to ensure they align with your business needs and budget. Overall, take your time to weigh the pros and cons of different states before making a decision as it can impact your LLC's operations and financial considerations in the long run. Next up, you need to choose a name for your LLC. This is the fun part. Choosing a name for your LLC is an exciting but essential step in starting your Amazon FBA business. Your LLC's name serves as its identity and can significantly impact its branding and reputation. When selecting a name, consider its relevance to your business niche, its uniqueness, and its memorability. Conduct thorough research to ensure that your desired name is not already in used by another business, especially within the same industry or geographical area. You can check the availability of your chosen name through your state's business registry or online databases. Remember to include a legal identifier like LLC or limited liability company at the end of your chosen name to comply with state requirements. Additionally, think about the long-term implications of your chosen name and how it may resonate with your target audience. A well-chosen name can help set your LLC apart from competitors and establish a strong brand presence on Amazon's marketplace. After you've got your name sorted, you need to choose someone to be your registered agent. Every LLC is required to have a registered agent, also known as a statutory agent or a resident agent. Selecting a registered agent is a very important step in forming your Amazon FBA LLC and ensuring its compliance with state regulations. A registered agent serves as your LLC's official representative for receiving legal documents, tax notices, and other important correspondence from the state government. While you can serve as your own registered agent, if you have a physical address in the state where your LLC is formed, many business owners prefer to appoint a professional registered agent service for added convenience and peace of mind. When choosing a registered agent, consider factors such as their reliability, availability, and expertise in handling legal matters. Your registered agent must have a physical address in the state of formation and be available during regular business hours to accept official mail on behalf of your LLC. By designating a registered agent, you ensure that your LLC remains in good standing with the state and receives timely notifications of any legal or compliance issues. Now, let's talk about something called an operating agreement. This is basically a document that lays out how your LLC will run. It's kind of like the rules for your business. You don't always need one, but it's a good idea to have one just in case. An operating agreement is a legal document that outlines the ownership structure, management responsibilities, and operating procedures of your LLC. While not required by law in all states, having an operating agreement is highly recommended for all LLCs, including those operating Amazon FBA businesses. This document helps clarify the rights and obligations of LLC members, reduces the risk of misunderstanding and disputes, and provides legal protection for your business. When drafting an operating agreement, be sure to include key provisions such as the percentage of ownership held by each member, the decision-making process, profit distribution rules, and procedures for adding or removing members. 
It's a good idea to consult with a legal professional experienced in business law to ensure your operating agreement complies with state laws and accurately reflects your LLC's unique needs and circumstances. All right, now it's time for some paperwork. You'll have to fill out something called Articles of Organization. This document tells your state government that you're starting an LLC and gives them some basic info about your business, like its name, who's your registered agent, and where it's located. Sometimes there is a fee to file this paperwork, so keep that in mind when planning your budget. These papers, like the Articles of Organization, are pretty important. They make sure your LLC is officially recognized by the state. Depending on where you live, you might need to fill out extra forms or provide more documents. Once you've got all the paperwork sorted, you'll send it off to the right government office along with any required fees. It's super important to check everything over before sending it out to make sure all the info is correct. This helps avoid any delays or problems in getting your LLC set up. Once your paperwork gets processed and approved by the state, your LLC will be all official. You'll get that confirmation that everything's good to go, and then you're ready to start your Amazon FBA business without any worries about legal stuff. Last but not least, after your LLC is registered with the state, the next step is to obtain an employer identification number, EIN, from the Internal Revenue Service, IRS. An EIN is a unique nine-digit number assigned to your LLC for tax purposes, similar to a social security number for individuals. This number serves as a very important identifier for your business and is required for various purposes, including opening a business bank account, hiring employees, and fulfilling certain tax obligations. Obtaining an EIN is a straightforward process that can be completed online for free through the IRS website. To apply for an EIN, you'll need to provide information about your LLC, such as its legal name, address, and ownership structure. Additionally, you may be asked to provide details about the nature of your business and its intended activities. Once you've gathered all the necessary information, you can proceed to complete the online application form. The form typically requires basic details about your LLC and its members, including names, addresses, and social security numbers or individual taxpayer identification numbers, ITINs, for each member. After submitting your application, the IRS will process it and assign an EIN to your LLC. In most cases, you'll receive your EIN immediately upon completion of the online application. You will then receive official documentation from the IRS confirming your EIN assignment. With your EIN in hand, you can proceed with other essential tasks to establish and operate your Amazon FBA business with confidence. Whether you're setting up your business bank account, hiring employees, or fulfilling tax obligations, having an EIN ensures that your LLC is properly identified and compliant with federal tax requirements. Every year, you'll need to file something called an annual report with your state government. This just tells them that your LLC is still active and gives them some updated info about your business. There might be a fee for this too, so don't forget to budget for it. You'll also need to pay any annual fees that your state charges for having an LLC. Again, this varies depending on where you live, so make sure you know what the rules are in your state. All right, now let's talk about taxes for a minute. Having an LLC can actually make things easier when it comes to taxes. See, with an LLC, you have some flexibility in how you're taxed. You can choose to be taxed as a sole proprietorship, a partnership, or even a corporation. This can save you some money and make your life a lot simpler come tax time. While the formation process and tax considerations may present some challenges, the advantages of an LLC are unparalleled. You will have strong legal protection for your assets and a credible personality for your business. And don't forget that if you would like to get help in starting your very own LLC, then I recommend to reach out to Northwest Registered Agents by clicking my affiliate link down in the description of this video. They're professionals and they'll be able to help you out with any legal questions you have. Plus, clicking on my link doesn't cost you anything extra and it helps me support the channel. Thank you for watching. Till next time.